Good day everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the tool which is called Stellar Repair for Outlook. Now, the Stellar Repair for Outlook is a powerful tool to repair and extract mail items from a corrupt PST file. And it also allows you to retrieve emails, attachments, contacts, calendars, and deleted email items. To download this software, follow the link in the description. Now, as soon as you go to the website, uh, it will take you to this home page. To download the software, you will have to click on free download. As soon as you click on free download, it will download the executable file. As soon as the download is complete, you may double click on the uh, executable file. You may get a user access control prompt. You may click on yes or continue on the screen. Uh, once you accept the user access control prompt, you will see an option where you can choose the desired language from the drop down menu. Now for the uh, as a default for the demonstration purpose i'm going to select english as language and click on ok and then follow the step-by-step -step instruction what you see on the screen and you will see a end user slices agreement you may click on accept and click on next on this window you will see an option to choose where you want to install the software in my case i'm going to install at the default location which is in c drive program files in case if you want to install it on a different location you may click on browse and choose the drive where you want to install this tool once this is done you may click on next now here you will see an option which says if you want to create a des uh, desktop shortcut in case if you choose to uh, create a desktop shortcut you may check this box click on next install now once the installation is complete uh, you will see a prompt on the screen saying that completing the uh, stellar repair for outlook setup wizard um, by default launch stellar repair for outlook will be checked you can leave it as is as soon as you click on finish you will see another user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen and um, as soon as you um, click on yes or continue on the screen you will see the stellar repair for outlook uh, opening on your computer now as soon as the uh, as soon as you launch or as soon as you open the Stellar Repair for Outlook, you will be prompted to uh, list configured profile. So in case if you want to list the profiles automatically or load the PST file automatically, you may click on list profile. What this will do is it will automatically choose the PST file from the computer. In case if you desire or if you choose to uh, select your PST file manually from the computer. You can close the window and click on select Outlook data file. And under this section, um, you can select the option which says choose mailbox manually. Under this section, it will allow you to navigate to the location where you have your PST file or the corrupt PST file on your computer. Now for the demonstration purpose, instead of choosing the profile list, I would choose the option which says choose mailbox manually so either you can click on find what this will do is it will uh, find the pst file on your computer uh, like i said for the demonstration i'm going to choose the pst file by clicking on browse and i'm going to go to the desktop this is where my pst file has been saved and this is the corrupt file now before i could start the repair i'm going to show you how the pst file or why i'm or why i want to repair my pst file on my computer so let me minimize this window and open outlook now if you look at the bottom left uh, of the screen or left hand side of the screen if i try to expand the outlook data file it will start throwing up an error message stating that uh, you know you cannot expand the folder because the set of folders cannot be opened or the server is not um, not available that's because the the mentioned outlook pst file has been corrupted so this needs the repair so in case if i try to open this file or if you try to if i try to access any of the emails from the outlook it wouldn't open now what i'm going to do is i'm going to close this uh, outlook data file from my outlook and also close outlook and then we are going to repair the outlook uh, data file from the stellar repair for outlook so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the Outlook data file. I'm going to repair my corrupt Outlook data file using the Stellar Repair for Outlook. So I'm going to open the Stellar Repair for Outlook, select Outlook data file and choose the option manually because I want to navigate to the corrupt Outlook data file which has been saved on my computer. 
and then click on browse once I'm on the browse, uh, browse section I will go to the desktop and uh, navigate to the location where I have my Outlook data file select the Outlook data file which needs a repair and click on open and then click on repair so what this will do is um, it will run through the process and um, it will complete the repair for the Outlook data file which is be, which was corrupted earlier on my computer. Now as soon as the repair is complete you will have an option to view uh, the items what was present or what is present in your corrupt, repaired Outlook data file. So you have an option to save individual email. So let's say if you want to save only a particular email from the corrupted data file you can do a right click and click on save a message what this will do is this will save the individual file or individual emails in case um, and you, you would also have an option to navigate between the different data what you have in your corrupted outlook data file be it your calendar data be it your contacts and be it your gen task and you will also see an option uh, to navigate or access uh, what you have in your um, nodes which was present in your Outlook data file. So for the demonstration purpose, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, save the entire Outlook data file on the computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save repaired file. And since I want to save it as an Outlook data file, it has to be a .pst because we are going to save the entire Outlook data file. So select PST, click on next and uh, here you will have an option here which says recover deleted items. In case if you don't want to include the recover deleted items or auto split PST file, you can uncheck this box. For the demonstration, I'm going to keep it as is and I want to save this file in the uh, on the desktop which is under the recovery folder which is by default in case if you want to change the location you may click on browse and choose the desired location and then click on ok so what this will do is it will save the entire repaired PST file on my desktop so if I go and navigate to the desktop folder I should be able to see the repaired Outlook data file on my computer so this was the corrupted file and this is the repaired PST file if you look at the size it is same it is about uh, 2.249 kilobytes and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this particular PST file which I was not able to open earlier in my Outlook to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch Outlook and here uh, you would have an option to either import the entire PST file into your Outlook now for the demonstration purpose instead of uh, importing the data file what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it so I'm going to click on file click on op uh, open and export and then click on open outlook data file and here navigate to the location where I have my uh, repaired PST file and this is the repaired PST file which I had saved on my computer and click on OK so here I have the repaired Stellar repair for Outlook which was saved on the computer so if you click on top of Outlook data file this is how the file structure would be you may not see the data in the inbox instead you would see the data under top of Outlook data file where you would see all the emails which were present on your corrupted Outlook data file on your computer so this is how you can go ahead and repair your Outlook data file using Stellar Repair for Outlook. Uh, for more information, you can visit the website uh, from the link in the description. I hope you like this video. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.